sitting here trying to figure out some way to use that stupid glow cube from luxury party stuff and have it actually make sense. The pack is kind of a meme because it's so full of useless items, but I think I may actually have a concept for us. You know this rooftop bar, the Stargazer Lounge in San Myshuno? I don't come here very often because I don't think it's that good. The lot itself is actually really cool, this fancy rooftop bar. I mean, look at the views from up here. I just don't think that it's executed very well, but it has these like glowing pink columns and these fancy pink lights. So somehow, and I almost can't believe that I'm gonna say this out loud, somehow Luxury Party is actually perfect for this. So I'm gonna try to renovate this Stargazer Lounge and fix it up, make it a little bit better, and also try to fit in some luxury party stuff. I hate to say it, but step one honestly might be to just delete a lot of these things. It's gonna need a lot of changes to make this look a little better. I also despise the tall wall height. It needs to be shorter. We're gonna have to figure out a new way to make these bathrooms work too, because I'm not really obsessed with this layout at all. I think the walls are kind of throwing me off. I'm not mad about it having walls, but I think I want to try and put them in a slightly different way. <laughs> I'm also probably going to delete a lot of this stuff, but not all of it. I would like to keep some of these original vibes, but just maybe like slightly improve them a little bit. I feel like the best view is probably of the water. I mean, it's all pretty. The mountains are pretty, but I think that what I'll do is block off the back corner with like bathrooms and the lobby and stuff. Instead of having two big buildings, I think I'll have just the one sort of in the front. Were those bar stools? not even attached. Wait, are you kidding? Oh my god. <laughs> These bar stools don't work. They weren't even properly attached to the counter. I've never noticed that. In all of the years of this pack being out, I have never noticed that the bar didn't work. I mean, there's bar stools on the side. It was like a U-shape, but the base of it had none that actually functioned. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I think I'm gonna make sort of like an L-shape to this. I might have it fill up a similar amount of space to what it had before. Maybe we should just delete everything. <laughs> There's no point trying to work around this stuff. This, at this point, this isn't a renovation. It's a completely fresh build. Honestly, Kayla, just, just destroy it. Start over. Stop worrying about it. Just begin again. I feel better now. <laughs> I was starting to get a little bit stressed there. I think platforms are gonna be our friend here. It's kind of the only way to make this not bad. This lot is so big. It's so much space for like such little need. I think that what I'll do is have a big long pool kind of mimicking where a lot of the walls are. Maybe there can be like some covered seating somewhere too. Like what if this part was completely covered but open air so it just has columns supporting it or something? That fills up a lot of the back. How, how did they fill up this whole lot? I guess it was bad so I shouldn't be using what they did as inspiration because I just got done talking about how I hated it. They definitely had this before and I think I'd like to use it again because this is like a really cool art installation and it's also big. I wonder if we can try and use some trees up here too. I guess they had plants before so we can do that. This is gonna take some serious effort to make not ugly. <laughs> oh my god. I honestly have pretty low expectations for myself right now so I'm just warning you. I, I don't anticipate this being that good. Okay well first things first we need to have an entrance. This is like where they spawn because it's on the rooftop. There isn't like a front door. <laughs> what will actually happen is they'll just spawn inside of this elevator. We can only have one person a lot, which is kind of annoying. I wish that I could have a little bit more free reign, but I guess I'll put the elevator in there so the Sims will spawn in there and then come outside through like some doors over here. And there can be like a little covered entrance, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. This is really not my finest moment. I actually do think I'll use- ew, 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 why, 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 why? Oh my god, you can't trust this game. The way that it auto places fences, that is infuriating. <laughs> All right, we have to make some adjustments it seems. I'm going to extend this out one tile so that I can make it stop doing that. I wish that you could custom place the fences. I wish that I could choose where the pillars go in the middle of them. I know I'm being kind of picky and it's like not that big of a deal, but that's just something that's always bothered me so much about this game. Oh, wait a minute. That's kind of cool. I don't really ever use the stuff from City Living, like these big giant windows, and I never use them in this blue swatch, but that might be kind of fun to use as the inspiration for the whole bar. I guess I could try and do the same thing over on this side again. I don't 
don't know what I'm gonna put in the building. I haven't really thought that part through yet. <laughs> I'm mostly just thinking about the main shape. Maybe we can have this be some sort of rooftop garden setup in that big area. It actually might be nice if we had a whole bunch of plants because I could try and add them in some other places too, like maybe along this side. Oh, look at this. We could raise this up on a platform too to try and get some more dimension because then it's not just one big flat thing. And maybe I could put grass up there. I don't really know. Just something like that. Oh my god, I just realized, even even unintentionally, I have made something blue again. <laughs> I can't escape the blue suburban. It's everywhere. It's even on the rooftops. Despite my best efforts, and I'd like to think that I put in some serious effort, but despite my best efforts, everything is still always blue. <laughs> no matter what I do, it's always blue. Okay, well, what I was thinking for this little area right here, and while I would love to use the glow bar, I'm not gonna use the glow bar. I was thinking about putting the bar underneath this covered section. I'd like to get a fun accent color, but um, <laughs> most of them are not really the vibe, so I don't know what to do. Maybe I will use this. It's so annoying. The bar doesn't have all the same swatches as the cabinet does. They're supposed to match, but they did like a counter swatch update and they added swatches to this, but they didn't add them to the bar. So we have like twice as many on the counter, but we're missing a whole bunch on the bar. Okay, so here's my initial concept. We'll have the bar sort of under Underneath that covered section. Luxury party does have some kind of luxurious looking bar stools, so I think I'll use them. I like this blue and white vibe that we're going for. I just, um, I don't know if that's like entirely too many bar stools or not. I'm not really the most experienced in, um, rooftop bars. This is not exactly the sort of place that I frequent in real life, so I have not got a clue what I'm doing. This is all just an experiment. Honest question. Honest question. Is that too much? or is that really cool? Because it kind of matches and I think it's kind of cool. If we got like a huge sign on the wall behind it, this one comes in all the exact right colors even. Like that's that's genuinely kind of cool. I want to get some sort of place to put a sign up on the roof too. I'm not really sure how to best do that though because I want to have like this sign on the roof somewhere. I guess we could maybe do that with like a regular wall because that's the size of a regular wall. So maybe there could be a box up here or something. Just get a a couple little bits of platform so it's a little taller. What do you think about that? That's kind of random, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I think it would be better if it was like one tile bigger. I think I'll paint most of it with this sort of like white light siding because it adds some texture. Oh, uh, this is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> it's just so big. I didn't really think this through. I'm trying to make it cool and I don't know how to do cool. I'm not, I'm not good at that. I never have been. Thankfully, the base game does have some windows that match this because otherwise we would be really struggling right now. You're actually joking. You're actually joking joking. No, no. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do this. Why? Why is that the front of the lot? Why is that the front of the lot? I'm just gonna keep building it like I am right now and we will revisit that later because I simply cannot deal with that right now. How about a glowing ceiling? <laughs> I don't think I should do that, but I could. It might be kind of cool, right? Like, wouldn't that be kind of fun? My next idea is maybe to have some skylights. And then I think instead of the island living skylight pieces, I might just use these like regular roof pieces. I feel like that honestly looks kind of cool, maybe? I need to fix the roof. It needs to be shorter. I think I'm okay with there being some sort of trim around them, but I don't want it to be super tall. And maybe I can paint that trim blue. That is a lot. <laughs> That, that is definitely a lot. This is this is a little little ugly, okay? But it's it's maybe getting somewhere, right? Maybe? It just started absolutely pouring rain. So if you can hear that, sorry. It may also get dark in here, so we shall see how that goes. This entire thing was inspired by the stupid glow cube, so I'm going to use it. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. Initial gut reaction is that maybe it would be cool to use it like a coffee table with some seats around it. We do have some kind of, I don't know, I guess, I guess interesting is maybe a word that could be used to describe this, <laughs> but we do have some kind of interesting couches, so maybe we could could have the couches facing the glow cube. The table is a little high though, isn't it? It's okay. It's a glow cube. Honestly, I, th I think it just glowing is enough to justify it being kind of weird. Look at how strange that is. The couches all look like they're different colors because of the shadows. They are the same. You saw me place them. They're the same swatch. That's so weird. I cannot believe how many things we have in this ridiculous bright swatch. We've got the tables, we've got the glow cube, all the walls, all the windows. Why does everything in this game come in that swatch? All right, well, I'm adding in some tables with some umbrellas over here. I don't think I 
appropriately distance them. Is that right? I think it's fine. I'll put a trash can in the corner too. What all do we need for this? We still have bathrooms and stuff to add, obviously. They call it the Stargazer Lounge, so maybe I should get a telescope. <laughs> should I put this whole giant thing? No, it doesn't. Kayla, stop. Stop. Just because you can does not mean you should. I'd like to have a stage of some sort somewhere, but I wonder if it maybe has to go inside because I didn't really prepare for that appropriately outside. What if there was like a kind of big stage in this back corner like this? And then we could put all the instruments and stuff on there, maybe even karaoke if we wanted to, and there could just be some tables and like lounge seating inside. I'd like to try and do a slightly bigger bathroom. This size fits three toilet stalls and then I can get some matching sinks. I'll come back to this. I'm mostly just trying to figure out layout, okay? I'm not gonna keep it looking like that, I promise. It needs an apartment mailbox? Huh. It also wants an apartment trash chute. We could use a trash chute in the bathroom. Fascinated that it needs an apartment mailbox, but I guess, I mean, it's a building, so we can put one. We need a microphone. We need a musical instrument. We could probably get more than one musical instrument. And then I guess I'll just go around and put some wall speakers out. I might try and hide one. I don't really like how the wall speakers look, so sometimes I try and size them down and like sneak them into little corners where you can't see them that well. Okay, I feel a lot better now. This is actually kind of starting to come together, so this is working out nicely. I think I'm gonna put a fake bar inside. This is really weird, but I'm kind of nervous that if I put a second one, The Sims will autonomously use that one, and it'll only staff one of them. And I don't want them to staff the inside one. I want it to staff the outside one, so maybe I'll just put a fake one in here. Do you think I should put the glow cube inside too? I don't know why it's so funny to me, but the thought of trying to use a glow cube in multiple spaces in this building is really, really amusing. <laughs> why? Why does it even exist? I don't understand why they made this thing. I know it's probably supposed to be for like displays or something. I rewatched the trailer for Luxury Party yesterday, and in the trailer, they used the glow cube to like trap Sims inside of a pretend dance floor. I'm not kidding, by the way. I wish I was. So is that the intended purpose? Fake dance floors? <laughs> oh, I should have put a dance floor somewhere. Okay, dance floor, DJ booth over here. This might work though. I don't want to use this because I feel like it looks too similar to the windows. Maybe I could get two of them? Two of them could be cool. And then I get a DJ booth and maybe I put the DJ up at the front somehow. It's kind of starting to grow on me. I never thought I would say this, but maybe I like the glow cube. <laughs> the more I use it, the more I think it's kind of cool. They also have this thing. It's like a glowing light panel. <laughs> it doesn't do anything except sit there and glow, but maybe I could use that. I'm kind of looking through everything else that comes in city living as well, because I'm trying to figure out what else we can use to fill up space, because there's a lot of empty space. <laughs> Mostly it's this that I'm kind of worried about, this just big open area. Trying to use these trees somewhere is harder than I thought too. They're kind of weird and small but I like them. I like the concept of them. Here's what it looks like at nighttime because <laughs> just the cubes glow. At least they light everything up. You know what? City Living also has these like bubble machine things. That is the technical term, by the way, Bubbletron 5000. <laughs> but maybe I could use a couple of those to fill in some of this big open space. I guess it wouldn't hurt to also have like some lounge chairs or something. That was one of the initial thoughts that I had when I first built the pool. Can you size the glow cube down? Oh my God, you can't. <laughs> you can't size it down or up. You guys, look what happens. I'm sizing it up. Oh, of course you can't. Okay. Oh my god. Well, I can't use that then. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? This place has huge not so very challenge vibes. With all this mint stuff, like everywhere you look, the place is like screaming not so very. It's kind of cool. I feel like most of the outside is probably furnished now. I just need to add in some last minute touches. I'm trying to think about what kind of furniture we would want to have and like what kind of lights we'd want to have. I guess I also have not even touched the inside yet, so we have to think about that too. Maybe if there was like some sort of fancy polished concrete on the floor. You see this kind of thing in real life in like fancy buildings like this. And I bet most of the walls could be sort of plain. We should also probably add some extra windows because we don't have like any right now in here. Maybe if I just get them in front of these. I don't really care how it looks from the outside in the back. I realize that's probably bad, but I, I don't care, so. Ooh, this is weird. That's from the bowling night stuff pack. Why not? Why not? This is one of the ugliest things I've ever built in this game. <laughs> I say that with love. I, I honestly mean it in a good way. It's just really, um, it's just really weird and, and different for me. I don't, 
Uh, usually you build stuff like this. What if there was a teal floor? Oh my god, you guys, come on, come on. I got some fancy lights on the stage, and then I'll rearrange all the furniture up here to make a little bit more sense. Wow. <laughs> wow, it just, it looks so good. This is such a, a beautiful build that's not weird at all in any way, shape, or form. Oh, I need to be stopped. I can't. I, I'm sorry. I let me let me just rethink this for a second. I won't keep it like that. I promise. Um, what if there was like a light colored flooring? No. Could I use the same tile inside? The stage could probably be like a simple carpet like this. What does that look like sized up? Do you think that could be cool? What if I use that instead of the other sign? I guess if it was karaoke, it would probably be like centered, wouldn't it? <laughs> Can I use this somewhere else? There's nowhere else for it to go. This place is weird. Oh, maybe we could still use the karaoke thing, but we can just like add some stuff around it. <laughs> so you could still do karaoke if you wanted to. I know, I know, I know it's ugly. I'm trying to figure it out, okay? I'm really, I'm trying so hard right now. <laughs> it might not seem like it, but I swear I'm, I'm really, really trying with this. I like these little wall plants. That's a nice touch, right? Bathroom door. Yeah, we need one of those. I don't know how I forgot about that. That's kind of a necessity. Oh, I think it looks better when it's angled like that. Okay, that helps. And maybe I'll do like one, one more. <laughs> I need to leave some open space in this entryway because this is where your sims have to come in. So we don't want it to be too busy in here, but they should be able to walk around all of this fine. I don't really know why your sims would want to come here, but you know, if for some reason they do. I have been using a slightly unreasonable amount of packs, but I, I'm trying to focus mostly on city living and luxury party stuff. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to use just those two. It's it's hard to say out loud, but that is my goal. I have used some other things. Like there's some dine out, get together, like 5,000 other packs on top of that. Oh, this thing is really weird. Oh, we should use that somewhere. That's kind of cool in the entrance, right? Okay, I think I feel good about the inside now. Aside from the bathroom. I keep forgetting about the bathroom. Hold on. <laughs> I'll do that now so I stop forgetting. We have like a slightly more simple sink that we could try to use. And I do have some kind of teal colored mirrors. I think I'll size down the music and put it above the door and maybe I'll just make the bathroom stalls white and then I can try and match like a fun wallpaper. I really like this honeycomb one. I think it's a cool little feature. Probably just continue the flooring throughout. Maybe it's done. <laughs> this is, I think this is my renovation of the build. It's not my finest work, okay? I, I was mostly just experimenting. I definitely could have uh, done more. I definitely could have done more, but I, I think I'm done looking at this. It's kind of starting to hurt my eyes, so I, I might stop. <laughs> this is like so morbid and unpleasant to even bring up, but to be completely honest with you, uh, one of my childhood pets died this week. My my family's cat died, and I'm getting uh, texts to the family group chat about how uh, he's done being cremated and ready to be picked up. So it's kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not doing well, so I think I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the build. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna not do this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna post it anyway and it's gonna be fine. It's been a really weird emotional not good week for me so I appreciate you all putting up with me. Um, this is, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you all relate. Losing a pet is really hard and it's just been a hard time. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna rotate this around because to put it on the gallery it has to be flipped which is super annoying. It also looks bad at like all times. Stargazer lounge run out. Oh, that's not right. Stargazer lounge run out. There we go. It's three, no it's not. It's zero bedrooms, three bathrooms. And I shall stick it on the gallery gallery. Let me show you around quickly first. We have a humongous pool. There's like a fancy display. We've got the dance floor. There's a bar. We've got seating. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here. It's a very wacky color scheme, but I think it turned out kind of fun. I think it's better than before. And if you're going to make a build inspired by a glow cube, it's going to be not good. Let's just be honest. Yeah, it's not my best build. Can I blame Pogi? Can I can I blame him for dying and that be the reason that the build's bad? <laughs> I know I don't talk about this much on my YouTube channel. I mostly have been talking about it on Twitch. I don't tend to bring up this sort of thing in my videos these days. But if you've been watching my channel for a long time, like since back when I lived at home, you might remember him. This is such a weird outro. Okay, anyway. Thank you, love you, miss you, bye. I just counted and I used the glow cube 11 times in this build. I think that's more than I've ever used it before combined. 11 is a lot. 